Welcome back, buddy. It's time for the final part of this case. Probably, possibly, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. We'll see. Sudova and I cooperated until the finals. I handled the safer. He was in charge of the design. You stabbed. Did you really do it? I want to know. However, for the finals, I want to challenge Sir Master with my own skills. I helped Sir Dova make his entry, but I made mine completely on my own. But the flavor of my entry wasn't good enough. My own lack of training was to blame. How about that, Sir Possible This is the truth of 18 years ago. No, I can't find any contradictions in his testimony. Well, of course he isn't going to fess up that easily. This guy's been on a run for 18 years, after all. Guess we'll just have to keep on pressing him until he breaks, eh? Yes. Press, 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 rebuttal. Dessert for the finals. So Dover and I cooperated it until the finals. I handled the flavor, and he was in charge of the design. No saving because I literally just say like 10 seconds ago. So, I mean, you know. So Mr. Dover took care of the design while you handled the flavor. So Dover was a sculptor by trait. His sense of design was splendid. But he was just an amateur chef. We combined our strengths by working together. Heh heh heh. You never did have any much design sense, did you, Mr. Gustavia? <laughs> Look at him twirl it around. I like to make birds. What do you think of this? Hmm. That's the symbol of Zhang Fa. Wow, a phoenix! This is really good! Well, you really have improved these past 18 years. <laughs> Behold the fruits of my 18 years of trading. I put my life and name on the line for my desert skills. It's true that I cooperated with Sir Dova 18 years ago, up until the finals. However, for the finals, I wanted to challenge Sir Master with my own skills. So you were really serious about the title of World's Greatest Pastry Chef? Yes. Confectionery is my life. Naturally, I want to be the world's greatest. But back then, I was still inexperienced, and I was no match for the better chef. But your goal was also to obtain the angel's recipe, right? Wouldn't the recipe book be worth more to you than the title? Every mm. rule! I will not stand by and watch you badger a con convalescent man like this. Oh, will you shut up, Judge Courtney? My god. My gavel shall protect you, Mr. Gustavia. Gah! I realize he's still recuperating, but... Mr. Gustavi, do not yield to this devilish prosecutor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. And you also shouldn't yield to that devilish judge, either, but you know, I'm just saying. I hope to the Sudova make his entry, but I made mine completely on my own. So you helped Mr. Dover with his dessert, but made yours all by yourself. No matter how you look at it, that's, this seems odd. Why did Mr. Dover assist you? It's that is not how it seems. It's the truth. I do not know what Sir Dover was thinking. It's hard to prove, so uh, prove if someone is lying about something that happened 18 years ago. Hey, Kay, does your secret weapon also work as a lie detector? If it did, I've already stolen Mr. Edgeworth's spotlight. There's no need for that. I will expose this man's lies myself. Yeah, why not just put him under a lie detector or something? My goodness. Dan Gustavia, please continue with your testimony. The flavor of my entry wasn't good enough. On my own lack, my own lack of training was to blame. Up until the finals, I heard that you received high praise for the flavor of your desserts. Was there some sort of accident during the finals? Mm, nothing of the sort. I simply was unable to taste my work due to my taste disorder. My intuition must have been off. That's all. And was your intuition fine while making Mr. Dover's entry? How could there be such a huge difference between the finals and the previous day? No. Hmm. We're not getting anywhere at this rate. Should I change the topic? Uh. Freaking heck. That's not good. That's not good at all. Let's not change the topic right now. I don't think there's any reason to change the topic. All those unanswered questions 18 years ago. I should already have key have the keys I need to unravel them. I must recall all the information that Mr. Shields 
And my father gathered. So we're back to the beginning then? Okay. If the flavor of my entry wasn't good enough, my own lack of training was to blame. Alright, we'll go back to this one real quick, because I do want to... Now that I know it's at the end, that changes things, right? Let's ask about the semifinals. So you're sure there wasn't anything different between the semifinals and the finals? Yes, that's right. Aside from not cooperating with Sir Doma, the finals weren't much different from the semifinals. So you were still able to make your desserts without Mr. Dover's assistance. I may have lacked design sense, but I was confident in the flavor. Apart from the design, there were no major differences between my finals and semi-final entries. Huh? That's sure strange, that's not how Uncle Ray remembers it. I'm pretty sure both the look and taste of your final desserts scored poorly. And there's no way he would have won the contest. Even the flavor, which he was so confident about, failed to materialize during the finals. Something must have changed besides Mr. Dover's cooperation. But what? All those unanswered questions 18 years ago. I should already have the keys I need to unravel them. I must recall the- What? Wait, I can't change the subject again? Hmm. So what, if I go with this one, then he's gonna- Okay, so this is still here anyway. So does that mean... Uh, ask about Mr. Dover? You knew Mr. Dover before you entered the contest, right? Yes, I knew him well. So Dover's son and my, my own attended the same elementary school. Is that true? Hmm, it doesn't actually say anything about that. Parent Care Day? I, mean, I can understand that, I guess. It kind of sounds the same, doesn't it? I don't see anything too off about this picture that would really be like, oh, here's a dead giveaway that we really need right there, right? I don't know, actually. Was there my entry was in there? Okay, so it does change these out then. I gotcha. I gotcha. Hold it! Then it wasn't a coincidence that you both participated in the contest. I heard about the contest, so I made the suggestion to Sir Dova. He always wanted money for his sculpting business. If I recall, Mr. Dover was a greedy man who was always after more money. Oh, so the Angel's recipe is really worth that much? Okay, the recipe book was certainly valuable 18 years ago. But nowadays, most of the medicines it contains are available commercially. Aw, that's a shame. In the end, it seems that each of the contestants had the Angel's recipe as their goal. All those unanswered questions 18 years ago. Uh, okay. Well, what would I do exactly? Hmm. What if I just press this one more time and then said no to, like, keep whatever the answer was? Don't change the topic. Yeah, if I just say that, so there was son in my own attended the same elementary school. I don't really see where I want to be contradicting with this one, though. And probably nothing, but maybe it'd be good to check just to be sure. Maybe I was fine, blah, 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 he's treated by medicine, no. Hmm. Endicon is a cake designer, but his body was found in defendant's room. The cause of death was blunt trauma in the head, oh no! How terrible. This is 18 years ago, okay, Tracy used before the police arrived, was he used to heat something, maybe? No, wait, no, wait, why was I, I don't know why I'm waiting, what? wait, no, it can't be, it's impossible. Hmm, nope. Can't rest with a drug that will cure the taste sort of hypoglucia, yeah. Don't let finger marks behind the mismatched room, no finger from the found, photo of murder weapon, eh, photo of Gustavi Dover in the sun, Gustavi's son always came to visit up until the finals. Hmm. I just don't see what that would have to do with anything, honestly. I, do, I just don't- I don't see anything that's suspicious in this photo that would be like, Oh yeah, look at that, that's a giveaway, right? <laughs> no. Dover used this to carry his ice sculpture surface in the platform's wet. Kate's favorite teapot made by Pierre Hawkwood. Larry drew the sketch, this is all it. I would say no to that one as well, it has nothing to do with the- 
their sons in the elementary schools and junk like that. Shake your hand around also has the same composition. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. And I don't think that has anything to do with anything either. Alright, I'm gonna change the subject. I don't think it's anything to do with anything. I could be wrong, but I don't think it does. So let's go back to... I mean, honestly, if I don't change the topic, it's gonna stay on that, but if I ask about Mr. Dover, then what happens? You knew Mr. Dover before the end of the contest, right? Yes, I knew him well. Okay. Yeah, it obviously doesn't do anything. That's weird. So, I mean, it's the same exact thing. You need to be like, don't change the topic, or... ask it again. It's like, it doesn't really... Either way, they serve the same purpose. Alright, let's ask about them semi-finals, shall we? Aside from not cooperating with Sir Dover, the finals weren't much different from the semi-finals. Hmm... The finals weren't much different from the semi-finals, huh? Well... I mean, uh, that's kind of a thing too, really. Objection! That was another thing that was different. <laughs> There was another difference between the semifinals and the finals. This photo depicts your son. We know he came to visit you up until the finals. No, that is correct. What does that have to do with anything? Your son, who always came to see you through the semifinals, was not present for the finals. And then it was only in the finals that your flavor judged poorly. I don't believe this to be a mere coincidence. Oh, I see what you're going with there. He was a taste tester, wasn't he? Your son's visits must have been very important to you, were they not? The father can work miracles when his son is watching. With my son cheering me on, I was able to make the most delicious desserts. Mr. Gustavi sure sounds like a good father, doesn't he? But what he's saying is the whole truth, one can say so. But just hearing his son's cheers wouldn't be enough to change the taste of his desserts. The confectioner, confident in his sense of taste, develops a taste disorder. It would have been difficult for him to maintain the taste of his desserts. Your son came to cheer you on. Was that really all he did? You seem very doubtful, Sir Pasekja. In that case, I'll turn this around and ask you. What else could my elementary school son have done besides cheer me on? Well, I would assume he tasted the desserts anyway. I'm sure- I'm sure your elementary school son would have remembered the taste of your desserts. Of course, my son always loved my desserts. In that case, he would have been able to taste test your desserts in your place. Nuh! Oh, what did you say? Earlier you told us that you have a taste disorder. Nuh! I've never told this to anyone. Well done. As you say, I developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. No one else knew about your taste disorder. If Mr. Dover had found out, he would have ended your partnership. After all, you were in charge of the flavor. That's a lot of dots. Your son didn't just cheer you on. He also helped you determine if your desserts tasted correct. No. No. I see. Mr. Dover's dessert was made the day before, so it still tastes good. No. <laughs> huh. Dot 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 dot. What you are saying is quite amusing, Sir Pasakuta. You say that my elementary school son assisted me as a taste tester. You are insulting my pride. Your pride? It's true. I had no sense of design 18 years ago. However, I won't lose to anyone when it comes to flavor. You claim I would cast aside my pride and rely on my son. Don't get carried away with your foolish conjecture. You upstart! No. In that case, I'm sure your son can confirm it and confirm my theory's mere conjecture. No. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I no longer have a son. What? what? After my taste disorder was cured, I went to train in Zengfa immediately. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, okay, I see now. That's funny. 
Well, anywho, moving on. Uh, during that time, I, I severed all ties with my son. What? Don't tell me you would even abandon your own son. That's not all. Even today, the whereabouts of his son are still unknown. Police have been searching, but they haven't been able to find any trace of him. If you wish to confirm your theory, I welcome you to try. <laughs> the Zets are the only things that are important to me. After regaining my sense of taste, my son no longer mattered. Order in the court. Mr. Gustavia's actions are certainly inhumane. However, I believe he is still innocent. We are not here to judge whether or not he is a good father. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I believe this is your loss. After all, there is no evidence left from 18 years ago that could prove the theories. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, is there nothing we can do? At this rate, we'll never find out the truth. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, where are those results? I, I wonder whose blood it could have been. I've asked forensics to look into it, sir. Right, I leave it to you, Detective. I entrusted Detective Gumshoe with the last piece of evidence. If only I knew who that blood belonged to. Miles, there's still one thing that's bothering Uncle Ray. Was Mr. Gustavia's only reason for coming to the art gallery to check on the body? Dot, 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 dot. If he only wanted to confirm the body's presence, he wouldn't have need to open the case. That's right. Is there a way we can prove this? There is one way. We just need the evidence from Detective Gumshoe. Prosecutor Edgeworth, what are you talking about? Mr. Edgeworth, sorry to keep you waiting, sir! Huh. Huh. <sighs> just the person I was talking about. Detective Gumshoe, I trust you have the test results. Of course, sir! I just got the report back from the lab. What is Larry doing? What is he sketching now? It's like he's just still just doing whatever he feels like. It's like, yeah, dude, I'm just sketching things, Edgy. Come on, man. Detective, please be silent. So this is the evidence that Prosecutor Edgeworth was talking about. Huh? Hey, what's this? This is the first I've heard of it. Um. This was a request from me. I asked him to investigate a certain piece of evidence. Why? Why is everyone always helping you out? I'm the one in charge of the crime scene. Mr. DeBest, I apologize for taking matters into my own hands. But how about we hear this report, his report first? It would give us the best results. Uh, sure. The best results, you say? Detective Gumshoe. What were the results? Here's the report, sir! The trace of the blood found in the Gemini sculpture belonged to... The victim of the poison gas, Dane Gustavia! What did you say? Good work, Detective Gumshoe. As I thought, my theory was correct. Mr. Edwards, what do you mean? We too would like an explanation. What on earth does this blood prove? This blood is something the culprit of the IS-7 incident tried to conceal. Uh, it... it can't be. That's... This blood was found inside the glass case of the Gemini sculpture. In other words, your blood was found alongside Mr. Dover's body. No! No! What? Why would Mr. Gustavia's blood be in a place like this? That... Dot 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 dot. So you intend to remain silent, and I'll reveal the truth myself. In the Gemini case, aside from the blood, we also found traces of salt and sugar. Salt and blood. And only one of Mr. Dover's sherbet desserts tasted salty. Come to think of it, I remember Miss Delicious saying the same thing 18 years ago. Oh, yes, she sherbet was most delicious. Really? I wish I could have eaten some, too. Well, there was one piece that was so salty I couldn't eat it. Salty? It's right here on this funnel. It was part of that liar. That's the liar from the Gemini's constellation. 
Exactly. For some reason, salt had been mixed into the lyre. No other traces of salt were found in Dover's room. In that case, please explain. Where did the salt detected in the lyre come from? Where did it come from? Uh... Uh... Huh? But it's stained with Dover's blood. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Does it? Hmm, I'm supposed to do this one. Here's salt, sugar, and blood tech. The sugar matches the light blue liquid from the Dover's room 18 years ago. Sugar found and found, also used about the same composition. I mean, I like what? Hmm. Talking about the liar specifically, though. Guys, dang it, I don't know. I mean, I just figured, like, you know, it's salt. Maybe it has something to do with it. This is the rock salt lamp used as the murder weapon in the I7 incident. So why was Dover's blood not in it then? I believe part of this rock salt lamp was mixed in with the sherbet from the liar. At the time of the murder, there were two rock salt lamps in Mr. Master's room. One of those lamps took Mr. Dover's life. We know that Mr. Dover's blood was left behind on the murderous lamp. However, there were no traces of anyone's blood found at the crime scene, Mr. Master's room. Because the killer disposed all the desserts with traces of blood into the streams of water, right? Oh. Because the killer disposed all the desserts with traces of blood in the streams of water, right? There were the traces of salt were found in Mr. Dover's room. Ugh. Speaking of which, when the two rock salt lamps found in Miss Delicious' room also broken? It looks like both the lamps and the pillars are broken. Uh huh. Both of their light bulbs are broken. Maybe they were dropped on the floor. We never did figure out why the other rock salt lamp was broken. Maybe Mr. Gustavi's blood was on the other lamp. No. If your blood was found in the lamps of the crime scene, you would have been suspected. As the culprit, you would have needed to conceal all traces of your blood from the police. Don't tell me he concealed it in the sherbet liar. Exactly. The rock salt lamp and his blood were mixed into the sherbet liar and hidden inside the glass case. Unlike the fountain's water, the sherbet desserts would not be analyzed right away. Perhaps he had planned to dispose of the sherbet when the opportunity presented itself. Then, the reason Mr. Gustavia came to this gallery... Eighteen years ago, the body and the evidence pointing to the killer were both stolen. Even the killer could not have anticipated that. There was no way of knowing when the body and the evidence would be discovered. So he planned to destroy the evidence before the Zodiac Art Gallery's grand opening. Dot 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 Dane Gustavia, isn't it about time you confessed? You were the true culprit of the IS-7 incident. <laughs> Monsieur Gustavia, you're the reason Monsieur Master is... <laughs> dot 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 dot. Mr. Gustavia. Could it be, after all this time my crime is finally brought to light. The prosecutors and defense attorneys 18 years ago never even came close. Bravo, bravo! Well done, sir, prosecutor. So you admit that you killed Mr. Dover? <laughs> it is true, I killed Isaac Dover. But he had only himself to blame. What do you mean? Dover and I worked together in order to win the contest. No matter who won, we agreed that we'd share the angel's recipe. But on the day of the fight, he stabbed me in the back. So Dova, this isn't what we agreed to. I'm sorry, Gustavia. The deal is off. What? But I made you a dessert for you. I'm the reason you got this far. And what of it? Can you prove that you assisted me in any way? Dova, you... You were planning to betray me all along. Because of Dover's treachery, I was forced to make my final entry, final entry on my own. It's just as Sir Prosecutor said, my son assisted me every day until the finals. What about your pride as a confectionery artist? I 
Count Chef loses the ability to taste his own creations. It's a feeling an upstart like you would never understand. Mastering the art of dessert making you is my reason for being. It is my one and only pride. Committing murder for the sake of pride, that's another feeling I will never understand. To say nothing abandoning your own son. Such a thought disgusts me. Before you judge me, first understand what happened 18 years ago. On the day of the finals, of the finals, my son never came to assist me. Looking back on it now, I suppose Dova had a hand in that as well. Huh? What exactly happened to your son? I do not know, but it no longer matters. Ever since that day, my son meant nothing to me. From what I hear, he's still missing. But that's awful! Giving up on him like that! Without your son, you had no chance of winning, correct? Yes. And since I was guaranteed to lose, I needed a failsafe. During the afternoon tea time, I made my way to Miss Sir Master's room. I just need to take a photo of the cure to my taste disorder. It would have all worked out. If only Dover hadn't interfered. Ah, Gustavia. Trying to steal a picture of my prize, are you? That hardly seems sporting. Uh, you! Cure for taste disorders? Uh huh, you have a taste disorder, don't you? Ah, this is rich! A pastry chef who doesn't can't taste! Dover, you! Gah! Puny worm, you are in no position to oppose me! Why, you! When I attempted to hit Dover, he struck me in and sent me flying. I crashed into one of the rock salt lamps, and that was when my blood stained on it. So Mr. Dover wasn't the first one to be injured? To conceal my blood, I shaved away part of the rock salt lamp and mixed it into the sherbet. After that, it became a part of the liar sculpture. So that's how you try to erase your traces from the crime scene. Dover tried to blackmail me by using the knowledge of my taste disorder. If I didn't want to it to become public, I was to pay him a large sum. So that's the reason why you killed Isaac Dover. No, <laughs> Exactly. What reason do I have to let those who obstruct me live? He was the one who drew first blood. I simply gave him his just desserts. So that was his motive. I carried the rock salt lamp that bore my blood into Dover's room. And I came over the hiding place where it would not be easily found. I get it, that room contained plenty of the tools for sculpting sherbet. Your deduction is spot on, Sir Attorney. It was the ideal place to shave away the rock salt. I then proceeded to coat the surface on the sherbet of the sherbet liar with a vast amount of the salty mixture. But why? Why did you try to pin the crime on Moon's ear master? Hold it. You are wrong to blame me for that, Lady Catherine. If not for your unnecessary meddling, Sir Master would have never been a suspect. Dot, 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 dot. Why do you think I hid that murder weapon in fluorescent cloth in Lady Delicia's room? There was only one reason why you'd place a murder weapon in someone else's room. You wanted to pin the crime on Delicia. Leave me! Yes, that is correct. Ghosty, why? Why me? One who sought to be the world's best confectioner. I greatly respected Sir Master. It was never my intention to cast suspicion on him. But an insolent woman who dared to sully the con contest with fake desserts. I had no problem letting someone like you take the blame for the crime. What? That makes me sad. If you hadn't snacked on the other people's desserts, the body would never have been found. It was when Sir Master would be judging Lady Delicia's room. That's when I finally saw an opportunity to freeze the body, but... Before I could move the body, Lady Catherine had already discovered it. Why? Did you need to freeze Monsieur Dover's body? Why, indeed. Monsieur Edgeworth, please tell us! Why would Monsieur Gustavian have needed to freeze the body? This guy says an ice sculpture to throw off the time of death to create a fake crime scene? Uh, throw off the time of death? Mr. Gustavi intended to freeze the body in order to throw off the time of death. If the time of death had coincided with a tea party, Mr. Gustavi would have been suspected. <laughs> that is correct. 
Preparations were necessary to freeze the body. While I was preparing in Doma's room, I placed the body in the treasure chest in Sir Master's room. I could think of no better hiding place at the time. But thanks to that gluttonous pharmacist, the lid of the chest broke. Why do you disguise him as an ice sculpture? Once the body was discovered, there would be no time to throw off the time of death. To buy time needed to hide it someplace else. How horrid! How could you hide Monsieur Dober's body within one of his own works? It all would have worked out if the body hadn't been discovered while it was in Sir Master's room. If everything had gone according to plan, Sir Master would have never been arrested. So, because I... discovered the body... It's my fault Monsieur Master was... Kate! Don't take his words to heart. Even if suspicion hadn't fallen on Mr. Master, Mr. Licious would have taken the fall. That is indeed true. No matter how who he targeted, the one at fault here is Mr. Gustavia himself. The detective in charge of the initial investigation was also a dunce. I think that he never reported the missing body to the prosecutor. Prosecutor Von Carver indicted Mr. Master without knowing the body had vanished. I see, that would explain why he looked so flustered at the crime scene. Although it's something that I would stand out if you read the official documents. Could someone have intentionally distorted the information? At any rate, Von Karma found out about the missing body after he made the indictment. And if he let one person be acquitted, he'd have a stain on his much prided perfect weapon record. That's why he concealed the fact that the body was hidden, and had Mr. Master declared guilt guilty. What are you saying? For 18 years, that man had taken the blame for your crimes. Don't you feel anything at all? <laughs> I don't care what you say. What a monster! I'm arresting him right here, right now, sir! I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that, that would be impossible. Dot 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 dot. <laughs> so you figured it out. That's correct. You have no right to sentence me. What? But the culprit is standing right in front of us. <laughs> Allow me to tell you the reason why you cannot can't arrest me. Yeah, because the statue of limitations. I get it, right? That is really wrong because you were out of the country in Zhang Fa. Why, why you can't arrest me? It has been 18 years since I murdered Dova. Statuette of limitations for murder in this country is 15 years, is it not? In other words, it's impossible for you to arrest me. I only confessed my crime because the statuette of limitations have expired. The statuette of limitations for murder is 15 years! Mr. Edgeworth, is there nothing we can do? No. As long as the statuette of limitations remains, arresting me is impossible. No way! My sincerest apologies, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Neither Mr. Gustavia's testimony nor your logic can be taken as official legal proof. What do you mean official legal proof? What do you freaking mean by that? It's not grounds for arrest because of statute of limitations, but to say it's not legal proof is doesn't that's a stupid freaking thing to say. Oh my god, I swear. The verdict of the trial 18 years ago cannot be overturned. Okay, fine, just say that. It can't be overturned, but to say that it's not legal proof, we got the proof! It just doesn't matter anymore! Supposedly. <laughs> what? What about the fact that Mr. Dover's body was hidden? Even if we can't arrest Mr. Gustave, that should at least earn Mr. Master re retrial. Really, I wonder about that. Overturning returning a verdict to the Goddess of Law is much harder than you think. Is the PIC trying to justify the verdict from 18 years ago? <laughs> How unfortunate, Sir Prosecutor. Is there nothing I can do? Is there no way to continue pursuing Mr. Gustavia? Rebuttal, why you can't arrest me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, anywho. Yeah, sure, it's been 18 years. That's great and all, but... Regardless, I think we're gonna try and figure this one out. I think we're gonna try and figure this one out. I, mean, I feel like this is going to be the last one. I mean, it kind of has to be, right? I mean, as soon as we blow open the hole with the Statue of Limitations here, it's like, this is over pretty much. So I think I'm going to try and get through this before ending this episode. 
Hopefully. No matter how many years have passed, your sin will never fade. Sir Prosecutor, I am sure you must have realized by now. There is no way you can arrest me. Arresting you would be a piece of cake for someone like Mr. Edgeworth! Isn't that right, sir? Uh, uh, hmm. I don't think it will be that simple. <laughs> it's impossible for you to arrest me. The statute of limitations for murder in this country is 15 years, is it not? It's possible that some of your actions 18 years ago were not affected by the statuette. <laughs> it's been so long, I've got nothing left to hide. Ask me anything you like. Very well. Could you explain to me what you did during these past 18 years? Certainly. After the contest, the medicine from the recipe book allowed me to fully cure my taste disorder. I then immediately headed to Zheng Fa to train my design skills. So he was ne ne wasn't seen ever since that case because he was in a foreign country. Indeed, and I'm certain that I went abroad to train. About one year after that case, right before Sir Master's final trial began, and thanks to my training, I am now a confectionery unparalleled in both taste and design. That's a nice design right there. You should not be proud of a position earned through the sacrifices of others. No! <laughs> you can't bake a cake without breaking a few eggs. Sacrifices are necessary for my goal. That's horrible! Say what you will. The fact still remains that you cannot arrest me. No! I have to get more information out of Mr. Gustavia. Was there anything of note in his recent testimony? His training in Zhang Fa, of course. Uh, I'm gonna say nothing seems important right now because I want to. I want to press the other things real quick. Nothing seems particularly important. I'll think about this a little more. It's very, very, very important. In other words, it's impossible for you to arrest me. It's too early to say for sure that it's impossible. Hold it. Just give it up, Sir Prosecutor. Just like your father before you. You cannot catch me. No. It was because of Von Karma's interference that my father couldn't find the truth. And now I'm about to lose the truth due to the statute of limitations. Mr. Edgeworth, we can't give up now. Your father's the last case. We have to see it through to the end. Okay. We can't let the culprits steal the truth. That's our job. As great thieves! I am not a great thief. But it is as you say. Jane Gustavia, I won't let you escape. <laughs> By all means, do try your best. I only confessed my crime because the statute of limitations had expired. So you confessed because you knew the statute of limitations had ex already expired. <laughs> of course. Who would confess otherwise? Well, I would have preferred to carry the truth if Dome was murdered to my grave. Why is that? I am now the world's best confectioner. I wouldn't want to have such a trifling matter affect my path as an artist in... Of desserts. So you let Mr. Master take the fall while you protected your own position. You alone I cannot forgive. My path is for me to decide. I don't need your forgiveness. Miles, it's been a long time since your Uncle Ray's been this angry. I feel the same way. I cannot allow this man to go unchecked. I can see how he was able to escape justice for 18 years. Isn't there some way we can catch him? Mr. Gustav is an amateur at law, after all. He's no match for a real ace attorney. I'm sure there's some flaw in his plan that we can exploit. An amateur at law, huh? Indeed, indeed. Alright, uh, it was this one, I believe. And then... I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if the other choice is going to lead to a penalty or not, but I'm not going to risk it, so... I'm just gonna go for the right answer immediately. I mean, for all I know, if I say something about like Mr. Master's final trial, like maybe it's gonna be all like, oh, uh, pre present proof of that being the case. But this is the problem, of course. Can you please add the details about your training and Zhang follow to your testimony. Oh. Certainly. Afterwards, I trained in Zhang Fa to become the world's best confectioner. Well. Okay, hold on, let me- okay, so it's not that, then. I'll go back to this one, because I want to see what this other thing is real quick. Come on, let me see this other testimony- wait, what? No, I couldn't- I couldn't get him to change it? 
Oh, maybe I have to do it with this one then. I, I just realized it got replaced. After was I trained in Zheng Fa to become the wood's best confectioner. I trained in Zheng Fa. After the incident 18 years ago, I left on the journey. I had already decided to hone my handicrafting skills in Zheng Fa. Thanks to that. I can now twirl pastries better than ever before. And make dragons. My design sense is incomparable to what it was in the past. Whoa! That's awesome! You may have it if you'd like. Oh, sweet! So we train in Zhang Fa. I still can't. Wait. Wait, okay, so now it's this one? So it got put in front of it? I thought I got put. But what? Normally, the new testimony gets put in front of it, not behind it. That's freaking weird. Alright, fine. So I guess I'll go with Mr. Master's Final Trial now. Please add the details about Mr. Master's Final Trial to your testimony. Certainly. Alright, let's see. I did not witness the Sir Master's... The Sir Master's Final Trial? What? So you weren't called as a witness by Prosecutor Von Karma or my father. I had more important things to do than attend the trial. I was much too busy trying to master the awesome desserts. The old man did try to find him, but could never get a hold of a contact address. So he took the initiative, and left before he could be summoned to court. I uh, guess that makes sense, anyway. Uh, 18 years and uh, 10 limitations. Okay, so, we gotta go back this one. Re-add that other testimony, then, in that case. And then I'm gonna present the gosh dang statue of limitations to you, because you'll be like... No! I can't believe this! I was wrong the entire time! All right, talk about your training once more, please. After was a training Zeng Fa to blah 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 blah. Wow, you really know nothing about the law. One of the conditions regarding the statute of limitations for the murder is as follows: If the suspect flees to a foreign country, the time limit is on hold until the suspe suspect returns. So the statute of limitations was suspended while you were overseas. You probably should have asked him how long he was overseas, though, before saying that, because, I mean, he could have very easily just said, I've only been overseas for, like, one or two years, something like that now. In which case, it's still a valid. Da, 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 da. That's right, the Statue of Limitations stopped while you were training in Zheng Fa. Indeed. It is possible that the Statue of Limitations has not expired yet. Mr. Gustavia, please tell us how long you stayed in Zheng Fa. Well, I mean, there's no way he's going to be honest with that now that you just freaking did that. <laughs> it would be exactly three years. Uh, three years? Wait. Let's calmly think this over. The case occurred 18 years ago. Statue of limitations is 15 years, and he was away for three. 15 plus three is exactly 18 years. I'm sure of it. Mr. Edwards, we did it. Statue of limitations hasn't expired yet. Uh, hmm. There's gotta be more to this than that, right? <laughs> Why would he be honest about it, though? Wasn't he trying not to get caught? Hmm. <laughs> exactly 18 years, you say? How amusing. No. <laughs> so he realized. Well, why are you laughing? Set your limitation still applies. Okay, it's frustrating, but. The case occurred in December. It's April now, which means, strictly speaking, the case occurred 18 years and 4 months ago. His stay abroad wasn't quite enough. We were just a few months short. Not enough? That... that's... Like I said, it's impossible for you to arrest me. <laughs> he must have known all about this when he confessed to his crime. Prosecutor Edgeworth... It really is a shame. If it was just one year earlier, the statute of limitations would not have run out. No. Those who undermine the goddess of law's verdict must be bear the burden of their crimes. And for that, I will be taking your prosecutor's badge now. <laughs> it seems you were simply incapable. Oh, come on! Incapable?! No. This can't be the end. So, Monsieur Gustave really is beyond the law's reach. Kate, what are you thinking? 
Objection. If you're thinking of t taking matters into your own hands, I implore you to reconsider. There still might be a way to bring this man to justice. What? Miles, remember the facts of the case 18 years ago? Just as you were mistaken earlier. It seems Mr. Gustavi has also overlooked one key detail. Because the thing was... Because the thing was the statute of limitations ran on December 23 years ago? Hmm... Uh... Oh yeah, because this... This case file is not correct or something, right? Because of things? Or reasons? Hold on a second. Overlooked. He wasn't present during Mr. Master's final trial, so he doesn't know the outcome of the trial. There may yet be a way for you to arrest him. Miles, look over that book on statutory limitations again. The possible comments are on trial, the countdown is stopped until the verdict is reached, then resumes. I think that's what you're talking about, right? Alright, let's go with that then. 17 years ago, Master was falsely declared guilty for a serious crime. Thanks to that verdict, we aren't out of, an am am out of ammunition just yet. Mr. Shields, you don't mean... Those who undermine the Goddess of Law's verdict must bear the burden of their crimes. I am Mr. Master's attorney. I can't use his suffering as a weapon in good conscience. For that reason... I'll leave the rest up to you. Dot 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 dot. The trial my father and Von Kammer battled over. Can I use that to arrest Mr. Gustavia? What should I do? Should I raise an objection? Obviously. I'm like, why wouldn't you? My father and Von Karma, their paths diverged. One revealed the truth, the other concealed it. The path that I choose is... The one that reveals the truth. I see no further reason to prolong this trial. I hope I find Ga Dane Gustavia not guilty. Objection! Overruled. Gustavia will stand in court for his crimes. Do you mean to say you have found a way to arrest Mr. Gustavia? Exactly. I'll show Judge Courtney the evidence that will shatter the statute of limitations. Uh... Uh... Is it... Is it the Statue of Limitations itself? Take that! I submit this evidence to the court. I find it hard to ascertain its relevance. Therefore, I can't accept it. What? Prosecutor Edgeworth, I can see where your feelings are coming from. However... I see you struggle so intensely, it seems so... It seems you don't know when to give up. I will never give up. The fate of this case rests in my hands. Jeffrey Masters' trial went on for one year. A year-long trial where the truth was fabricated. There must be one more exception to the statute of limitations I can use. It's kind of why I was trying to present that, really, but alright, uh, maybe it's in the case file, then? The I-7 case file, which page are you referring to? Uh... Case summary, crime scene, murder weapon round, okay. Clear the dessert kind as the victim's body was found inside a dessert made by the suspect. This led to his arrest in jail. He was diagnosed with hypothermia. No confession, he was convicted as an accomplice to murder. Hmm. Wait, well, what page was that again? Suspect data. Alright. The suspect data page. At the trial, Jeffrey Master was found guilty of being an accomplice to murder. And it took one year to arrive at this verdict. Right, that is indeed true. This book lists conditions in which the statute of limitations can be put on hold. The first, as I have said earlier, is if the suspect flees to a foreign country. But there's one more. If possible accomplices are on trial, the countdown is stopped until the verdict is reached. What? What do you say? So Master was found to be an accomplice? That's right, Mr. Master was sentenced after you had left your, for your trip to Zheng Fa. And he was found guilty not be, of being the culprit, but of being an accomplice. But it seems you didn't know that. But th that's absurd! So Master never committed any crime to begin with, you should certainly know this. 
Of course we do. That is why we are going to free him. To that end, we will shatter the on one remaining obstacle in our way. The Statute of Limitations. You fled to Zhang Fa for three years. And Jeffrey Master was being tried as an accomplice for one year. Put it all together. We see that the total time limit for this case is 19 years. In other words, the Statute of Limitations is not over for you yet. Gah! The Goddess of Law is unearing in her judgments. However, it seems that the prosecutor at the time was not. I cannot believe it, but it seems like the case will have to be re reopened. This is absurd. You cannot arrest me. Objection. For the last 18 years, an innocent man has suffered greatly in your stead. Mr. Gustavia, it is now time for you to atone for your crimes. No! I had finally earned my place as the greatest confectioner in the world. To achieve that goal, I cast everything aside, even my own son. What a shame. You can't run from your crimes any longer. Nuff. 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 No! Oh gosh! No! Holy crap! That's that's cool. <laughs> I like that one. That was a good one. <laughs> Dang, Gustavi has been taken to custody, sir. Um. Yeah. So you're up next, right? Yes, I understand. Kate. Everyone, I am truly sorry for all the trouble I've caused. And thank you very much for catching Monsieur Gustavia. What you did cannot be overlooked. Even if the crimes you committed were in response to a past injustice. As a prosecutor, I am terribly sorry for what happened. No, I'm only getting what I deserve, since I was the cause of all of this. Kate, will you have me as your attorney? I'm not quite the same useless kid I was 18 years ago. I won't let them find you guilty. Oh gosh, what are those tears? Oh, Monsieur Shields, yes! Thank you so much! How about a hug? That'll make you feel better, right? Well, that was interesting. Sorry to interrupt, but it's time to go. Yes, alright. I will be taking my leave now. Well, Prosecutor Edgeworth, it seems your wrongfulness has actually gotten us a guilty verdict. Congratulations. Judge Courtney, you're a terrible judge. I can't help but feel that you've been dishonest with me. Dishonest? Whatever do you mean? You said the verdict could not be overturned, but that was not the case. A reinvestigation and retrial were obviously required as soon as the missing body was found. I have no need to answer you. I'm a corrupt judge, that's all you need to know. It seems she doesn't intend to ever give me an answer. But she's a terrible person, obviously. Prosecutor Edgeworth, the PIC has you in its sights. They believe you're an awful prosecutor. You don't go for guilty verdicts, you just try to find the truth. Who does that? That's a terrible job for a prosecutor. They will see reports on everything you did here today. And you will most likely be required to appear before them. I don't get her problem. What is her freaking problem? This is why I hate her. I, she's like, she's gotta be like my least favorite character in this freaking game right now. She's just so stupid. Now then, I shall take my leave. I mean, at least Sebastian the best is just like, you know, whatever. Okay, he's dumb. He's kind of just Co Judge Courtney's right hand man, pretty much. And it's like, okay, whatever, you know. He, he's just there to be stupid and he's not really that important. He's just there. But Courtney's just like, I, I'm just gonna get in the way because I want to. Now then, I shall take my leave. Yeah, good riddance. Get out of here. Hold on, Mr. Edgeworth caught the real bad guy. Didn't he do his job as a prosecutor? No. Prosecutor's supposed to be getting guilty verdicts, not finding the truth. No matter how things turn out, I will never regret what I did here today. Mr. Edgeworth? Hey, Prosecutor Edgeworth. 
what is it? Why are you always sticking your nose into cases that you're not even involved with? My duty is to reveal the truth. Not only as a prosecutor, it's just who I am. I don't get it. <laughs> really? As long as you continue to think that being the best is all that matters, I doubt you ever will. Well, I don't get that either. I'm going home. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> well, what was that all about? There's much he still needs to learn. Dot dot dot? Miley! Oh, what? What is it? I know Granny Sonic could do it, I think! I might be falling for you! Thanks for helping Jeffy! Well, um... Yo, Edgy! Great job solving that case! Well, I was busy drawing, so I really didn't catch all of it. Yeah, I noticed that, Larry. I noticed. Huh? Where did Katie and Justy run off to? Maurice, you really weren't paying much attention at all, were you? He literally just said that. Dot, 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 dot. Well, I hate to admit it, but Larry's doodles actually helped us out a few times. I should say something nice to him. Don't glare at me like that, I'm sorry! It was not my intent to glare at you. Heh <laughs> that patented edge with glare, you're just like your old man. Uh, is that so? Well then, Uncle Ray's gonna go pay Mr. Mas Master a visit. You guys wanna tag along? I'd be happy to accompany you. Oh, me too! April 2nd, 4.56pm, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Oh my gosh. So this Jeffrey Master, what's he like? Oh, he's a really nice and gentle guy. He's still doing his best to make people happy. He's a He actually cooks desserts for the inmates. Nowadays, the prisoners and guards look forward to snack time at 3 o'clock. Wow, that's nice. I want to eat his desserts too. So the chocolate cake he, we saw in the prison the other day. He was the one who made it. I guess, apparently. Oh, Gummy, why are you here? I heard everybody was coming to visit, so I escorted Mr. Master myself. Hello, one and all. I am Jeffrey Master. Much older than I used to be, but I still sound the same as always. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth at your service. And I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant, Kay Faraday. Ho ho! It is a pleasure to meet you all. Mr. Master, I'm Miles' is your old defense attorney's son. You mean Mr. Gregory's? Your father has done so much for me. And yet, I betrayed his good faith when I made the false confession. I've heard the details from Mr. Shields. Mr. Master, I came here today to tell you everything we've learned about 18 years ago. 18 years ago? What, did he forget? Kate committed a crime for my sake. Why would she do such a thing? Miss Hall had been trying to prove your innocence for the past 18 years. She was willing to do whatever it took to save you. Kate! She shouldn't have gone through so much trouble for an old man who let her down! Mr. Master, I don't think you realize just how much Miss Hall cares for you. I have something here that clearly proves the two of you share an unbreakable bond. An unbreakable bond?! Proof of the bond between Jeffrey Master and Catherine Hall. This should give Mr. Master some peace of mind. I would have to assume... It would be... Wait. Hmm, I don't think so. I think it's gotta be the chocolates though, right? Because, I mean, these were the ones that he always liked, so... Yeah! These chocolates! Did Kate make them? She did. They're really sweet and tasty! She's been making these chocolates for the past 18 years. So that she could give them to you whenever you returned. Kate! Oh man, now I have to shed a tear! <laughs> I'm sure they are very, very sweet! Yes, they truly are. Yes is my line! Unfortunately, I can't, cannot give them to you now, but... I can hand them over later in secret, pal! Just like Detective Bad used to do! It is against the rules, but right now I don't have the authority to stop him. Ho ho! Thank you very much! Say, you remind me of an old friend! Do you know of a Detective Bad? Of course I do! Detective Bad is my number one role model, pal! How uncanny! Talk about fate! 
Mr. Master, it's looking like we'll be able to get you out soon. I can only apologize that it took 18 years to do so. Raymond! I'm the one who should be apologizing! No! That's not it! What I really should be saying is YES! Thank you! Mr. Master, now it's my turn to wait for Kate! I'll make her favorite sweets every day until she returns! Please look after her, Raymond! You got it! The IS-7 incident, the case I inherited from my father. After 18 long years, it's finally coming to a close. Miles, thanks for today. I'm sorry for leaving that final decision to you. No, I made that decision on my own free will. Eh? What are you talking about? To rescue Stubby, we had no choice but to use Mr. Master's false charge. I will be right back real quick! Alright, I'm back! To use Mr. Master's false charge, which I was originally supposed to protect him from. The attorney inside of me simply could not do it. So that's how it was. But, after this, Uncle Ray is going to try to clear away that false charge as well. Yes, I understand. What? If they find out about the false charge, they won't be able to arrest Mr. Gustavia, right? That's true. It sure is a contradiction in the law. The way the law is right now, it isn't always completely right. Let's say that again. A contradiction in the law? Well, who knows what'll happen. The law evolves and grows, just like all of us do. Just like Uncle Ray and Miles have grown up, you know? People in the law both grow. Miles, to fight crime as a prosecutor or to save people as a defense attorney. I want you to think carefully about how you want to live your life from now on. I will, and I'll continue to be a prosecutor for the rest of my life. I'll even be the head prosecutor someday. Well, if you ask Uncle Ray, you'll be a great head prosecutor anyway. You'll always be welcome down at the office. Alrighty then, looks like it's time for Uncle Ray to get going. Next time I see you, I'll be sure to thank you again. With a hug, naturally. Really though, thanks for today. See you later, suckers. Mr. Shields seemed to be in a bit of a hurry. Indeed. I should be the one thanking him. I was able to face my father's last case because of him. When I was young, I wanted to become a great defense attorney like my father. However, under Prosecutor Von Karma, I learned the ways of a prosecutor. Thanks to a certain friend, I was able to discover my own path in life. However, right now there are forces trying to take me off the prosecutor's path. Maybe now is the perfect time to think about how I should live my life. Hmm. What can you mean by that? April 2nd, 7.29pm, Edgeworth Law Offices. Gregory, I'm sorry that it took so long. It may have taken 18 years, but finally we've proven Mr. Master's innocence. Miles, your son, helped me with that. The way he fought for the truth. He was just like you, Gregory. I'm still not the kind of attorney you were, but I will forever carry on the convictions I inherited from you, and if I can, together with him, and then I'll disappear from the from this universe for the rest of time. Because <laughs> I mean, he doesn't make any appearances in any other games after this. Oh no, the path I choose is I hate auto advancing, especially on on. Necessary ones that just appear out of nowhere. I don't know what that thing, first thing said. Well, the end. Hooray! The inherited turnabout is over! The forgotten turnabout is next! What could possibly be a forgotten? I have no idea. Uh, save clear stage data up to this point? Hmm. Wait, I forget. This doesn't actually start the next case, does it? Hmm. I do wonder. Oh, all right. Anyway, let's let's just save it up. Maybe it doesn't work that way. I forgot. I don't remember things. 
Okay, good, 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 good. So there's Gregory Edgeworth's silhouette right there. And now the new one is, well, I'm pretty sure it looks like K. So, I mean, all right, well, there we go. The Forgotten Tournament is all about K Faraday for some weird reason. All right, everyone, on the next exciting episode, we're going to begin episode four. Wait a second, I thought this was episode 52, though. Hmm. Shouldn't that mean the next one's episode 53? I think this game's lying, perhaps. Oh, well, uh, details, details. Next time we begin the Forgotten Turnabout. I'll see you all later, everyone. This is a long episode. Bye-bye.